Hey guys, this is Delphine with a Japanese lesson on the Culture Quirk channel. So this is going to be the last lesson for this month of November, and after today, you should have a pretty decent base in Japanese verbs. We've talked about how to conjugate things in the mas forms, and now we're going to wrap things up by conjugating in the plain form. And just like we did for the mas forms, we'll be looking at the present, past, negative, and negative past tenses. So let's dive right in. Starting out with the present tense, it's just as easy as it was before. You just use the plain form of the verb. You don't have to change anything. Watashi ga iku, I'll go. Mizu wo nomu. I drink water. So as long as you know that plain form or dictionary form of the verb, then you know the present tense. Now the past tense is a little bit more tricky, but it should be super easy for you as long as you've done your homework. Remember all those te form conjugations? Well, this is where they're gonna come in handy. If you need a reminder or you haven't seen the video yet, then I'll let you cheat. Uh, here's a link to that, and it'll pause this video and open up in a new tab. So once you know your te forms, then all you have to do is change the verb to te form, except replace the te with ta. That's it. Taberu changes to tabete. And the past form would be tabeta. Asa gohan no tabeta. I ate breakfast. Or remember that exception? Iku. It changes to itte. So you would say itta. Nihon ni itta. I went to Japan. So really, the hardest part about this is just remembering those te forms, and then you're good to go. Moving on, let's look at the negative tense. This is probably the biggest part of today's lesson. Once again, this is going to vary depending on which verb class you're looking at. For class one, your verb is going to end in ru, and you need to drop that ru and replace it with nai. Nai is used a lot in Japanese. It's a negator, it basically just means not. Taberu will go to tabenai, to not eat. Miru would change to minai, to not see. For class two verbs, it's a little harder. For whatever u sound there is at the end of the verb, you have to change that to its corresponding a sound. And then you add the nai at the end. So let's go through the list of examples that I've been using for those class two verbs. Kaeru becomes kaeranai, to not return. Matsu becomes matanai, to not wait. Shinu becomes shinanai to not die. Nomu becomes nomanai to not drink. Asobu becomes asobanai to not play. Kaku becomes kakanai to not write. Oyogu becomes oyoganai to not swim. Hanasu becomes hanasanai to not talk. The u sound by itself is a little bit weird. It doesn't change to a, it changes to wa. So au becomes awanai to not meet. This is sort of the same method that we use to go from plain form to mas form, if you remember that. To change from plain to mas form, you change the u sound to its corresponding e sound and then add the mas. For plain negative, you change the u to the a sound and add nai. So it's nice to notice those patterns. This should be Doable, right? Just a little bit of practice. And finally, for class three, again, these two verbs break all the rules, so I'll just give you the negative tense. Suru becomes shinai, and kuru becomes konai, which is definitely irregular. And the last tense for today should be pretty easy, the negative past tense. For this one, you just have to know how to do the negative tense, but instead of nai, you use nakata. The iku becomes ikanai for the negative tense, and so it becomes ikanakatta for the negative past tense. Nihon ni ikanakatta. I did not go to Japan. Asa gohan wo tabenakatta. I did not eat breakfast. And there we go, that is it. We're at the end of this verb series, and now you know more about verb forms, polite versus plain form, uh, verb classes, one, two, and three, and you know how to conjugate in four different tenses for both the plain and the mas form. This should be a pretty good base, and I would spend some time to just really focus on these concepts. Once you got those down, it'll be a lot easier for you to learn other verb and grammar points and start really forming sentences, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed No Verber and had a pretty good month in general. It's been getting pretty cold in my area and the winter holidays are just around the corner, so I'm excited and I hope you are too. I'll have an end slate here so that you can review all of these months' verb lessons if you like and feel free to ask any questions if you don't understand something. Thank you guys for watching, see you next week, and happy learning!